Today, 2020. My name is Sadie. And I'm Patricia. Welcome to your Winters Run News. Last week in the state of Washington, a 26-year-old man went out for a run near the Olympic State Park. So run along his run, he broke his ankle. He spent eight hours calling back to the trail ahead, hoping he would find someone to help him call 911. In those eight hours, he was able to crawl about five miles. Once he arrived, he was still four miles away from where he had started at the trail ahead. He had a cell phone with him, but the trail was on very Skilled, and there was no service available. He was wearing a what he described as a light clothing, and temperature was below freezing. The Coast Guard arrived by helicopter and took him to a nearby hospital. He's ex- expected to be fine. Calling on the telephones, Ferrero Rocher, the parent co- the parent company of Nutella, just announced plans to open a new 600,000 square foot manufacturing plant in Goodyear. Even if you have never heard of Nutella, the popular hazelnut spread, you're probably fa- probably familiar with some of their other products, like Butterfingers, Baby Ruth Bars, or Little Round Ferrero Rocher. Chocolates that are popular around the holidays right now, the, the, new com- the factory is thought to be home to Butterfingers and Baby Ruth candy bars. But even if it isn't, one thing is for sure, it will be delicious. Now let's go over to Mr. Bourne with the weekly update. All right. Good morning, Ms. Vargas' class. Good morning. Okay, today I'm going to read Green Eggs and Ham by Dr. Seuss. And I have not had my breakfast yet, so I brought my own green eggs. Don't they look good? Yes. Kind of like in the story. So let's get into Green Eggs and Ham. Green Eggs and Ham by Dr. Seuss. I am Sam. I am Sam. I am Sam. Sam I am. That's Sam I am. That's Sam I am. I do not like that Sam I am. Do you like green eggs and ham? I do not like them, Sam I am. I do not like green eggs and ham. Would you like them here or there? I would not like them here or there. I would not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. Would you like them in a house? Would you like them with a mouse? A mouse? I do not like them in a house. I do not like them with a mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. Would you like them in a box? Would you like them with a fox? Not in a box, not with a fox, not in a house, not with a mouse. I would not eat them here or there. I would not eat them anywhere. I would not eat green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. Would you, could you, in a car, eat them, eat them, here they are. I would not, could not, in a car. You may like them. You will see, you may like them in a tree. I would not, could not, in a tree. Not in a car. You let me be. I do not like them in a box. I do not like them with a fox. I do not like them in a house. I do not like them with a mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. A train, a train, a train, a train. Could you, would you, on a train? Not on a train, not in a tree, not in a car. Sam, let me be. I would not, could not. Not in a box. I could not, would not, with a fox. I will not eat them with a mouse. I will not eat them in a house. I will not eat them here or there. I will not eat them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam. Say, in the dark. Here in the dark. 
Would you, could you in the dark? I would not, could not in the dark. Would you, could you in the rain? I would not, could not in the rain. Not in the dark, not on a train, not in a car, not in a tree. I do not like them, Sam, you see. Not in a house, not with a mouse, not with a fox. I will not eat them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. You do not like green eggs and ham? I do not like them, Sam, I am. Could you, would you, with a goat? A goat? I would not. Could not with a goat. <coughs> would you, could you, on a boat? No, no. I cannot. I could not, would not. Not on a boat. I will not, will not, with a goat. Wait, what the? I will not eat them in the rain. And I will not eat them on a train. Not in the dark, not in a tree, not in a car. You let me be. I do not like them in a box. I do not like them with a fox. I will not eat them in a house. I do not like them with a mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. <coughs> I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam, I am. You do not like them, so you say. Try them. Try them. And you may. Try them, and you may, I say. Sam, if you will let me be, I will try them. You will see. What do you think? Some green? Say, I like green eggs and ham. I do. I like them. Sam, I am. And I would eat them in a boat. And I would eat them with a goat. And I will eat them in the rain. And in the dark. And on a train. And in a car and in a tree, they are so good, so good, you see. So I will eat them in a box. And I will eat them with a fox. And I will eat them in a house. And I will eat them with a mouse. Sorry. <laughs> and I will eat them here and there. Say, I will eat them anywhere. I do like green eggs and ham. Thank you. Thank you, Sam I am. Thank you, boys and girls. Thank you, Elizabeth. I've seen Ryan. Thank you, Mr. Boy. Now let's go to Carson and Emmanuel Sports. Welcome back to Sports. My name is Emmanuel. And my name is Carson. In the NBA news, the Suns won a big road game last week against the Utah Jazz, 131 to 111, which gave them back to back wins for the first time in a while. They are currently 24 and 34. They have a really good, they have really get on a winning streak to have a chance at the playoffs. The Coyotes beat one of the league's best game, best teams last week. The Tampa Bay Lightning by scoring a season high seven goals. The game final was three to se seven. In bigger news, they're all star goalie. Darcy Kemper made his return to the team last week after missing a few months due to lower body body injury. Spring training baseball starting up last week as well. Baseball fans from across the state and country get to see their favorite teams at players as they prepare for the new season. See you next time in sports. Thanks, guys. Here's Rosalie and Jackie with Entertainment News. Welcome to Entertainment News. My name is Rosalie. And my name is Jackie. March is shaping up to be a big month at the movie theaters. First is the next movie in the line of live-action Disney remakes. With Milan, most of you have probably seen cartoon versions that came out about 22 years ago. This one stars... 
I feel Lou has the mo has the girl who must hide her ide identity to and fight the Chinese army. It comes out on the twenty seventh of March. The other new movie that kids might be interested in is called by Spy. It comes out on March thirteenth. It stars Dave Bautista and Chloe Coleman, who is the nine-year-old girl that befriends a CIA agent that has been sent to do sur surveillance on her family. That's all for entertainment news. See, See you, you next time. Thanks, Chris. Now let's go right back to Emmanuel and Carissa with Joke of the Week. <laughs> oh, welcome back to Joke of the Week. My name is Carissa. And my name is Emmanuel. So what is your, your joke, Emmanuel? Knock, knock. Who's there? Meow. Meow who? Are you an owl or a cat? Make up your mind. Oh, God. <laughs> Great joke. Here in Joke of the Week, we want to hear your joke. If you have a joke and would like to be in the news, go to the link down below. See you next time. Thanks, guys. Here's Carly and Eternity with Fun Fact Trivia. Welcome to Fun Fact Trivia. My name is Carly. And my name is Eternity. This Tuesday, March 3rd, is National Cold Cut Day. It is one of the Mediest day of the year. Whether you call it lunch meat, dial meat, sandwich meat, or just plain old cold cuts, it is an easy day to celebrate. Some people say that they that they don't like cold cold cuts, but we believe that it is just a bunch of baloney. Some people eat them stacked high on a sandwich, and others might prefer them sliced than, than on a cracker. Your question today is, bologna is one of the most popular lunches, lunch, lunch meats in the U.S., but is it named after a city is in which country? Is it A, Italy, B, Turkey, C, Spain? You have 10 seconds to decide which one is correct. If you said A, Italy, you are correct. Bologna is technically a pork sausage with various seasonings added in. In Britain, Ireland, Zimbabwe, Zambia, and South Africa, it is known as Poloni. That's, That's all, all for Fun Fact Trivia. Yes. See you next, next time. time. Bye. Thanks, Gus. Now let's go back to Chris with this week in history. Hello and welcome back to This Week in History. My name is Carissa. On this day, March 3rd, 1931, the Star Spangled Banner becomes the national anthem of the United States. President Herbert Hoover assigned a congressional act making it official. The song was written over a hundred years earlier back in 1814 by Francis Scott Key after watching the British attack on Fort McHenry, but failing to capture it. After circulating as, as a handbill, the patriotic lyrics were published in a Baltimore newspaper on 20, September 20th, 1814. Key wor Key's words were later set to the tune of two and a Korean to, in heaven, a popular English song. Throughout the 19th century, the Star Spangled Banner was regarded as the national anthem by 
most branches of the U.S. Armed Forces and other groups. That is all for this week in history. See you next time. Thanks, Carissa. Here's Dakota and Arthur with Science Time. Welcome to Science Time. My name is Dakota. And I'm Arthur. Science Scientists have discovered a first for the animal kingdom that that they have found an animal that doesn't breathe. The, this animal is a parasitic blob most closely related to a jellyfish. It spends its entire life in front in fact, infecting the densest muscles, tissues of deep water fish. It, the sci its scientific name is Hyena Hyena Salamancola. Scientists also discovered that this is one of the few animals that has evolved backwards or downsized over their existence. They have continued to lose features like muscle cells, nerve cells, and tissue. The only feature that they have seemed to keep are the stinger cells. They look like they have eyes on their head. They don't carry any venom, but those stinger cells help them attach to a host. That's all for science time. See you next Thanks, week. Thanks, guys. Now let's go back to Rosalie with the Wind of the Week. Welcome to the Word of the Week. My name is Rosalie. This week's word is acquaint. Acquaint is a verb and it means to make someone aware or familiar with. Here's how you could use it in a sentence. The new student, the new student quickly became acquainted with his new table partners as they all worked on a group pr project together. See you next time on Word of the Week. Thanks, Rosalie. That's all for this week's Word of the Week. See you next time. Thanks, Rosalie. That's all for this week's Word of the Week. See you See next time. time.